Sounds like Murder Mom's feeling more stabby than usual. Hey! Better not slice through anything in that cargo bay! We ain't restocking anytime soon! Harsh! Hey, Rocket. You got a minute? Hurry up, Quill. I ain't got all day. All that effort, and nothing shiny to show for it. Shame. Shoo, shoo. Move over. What are you looking at? Oh no. You ain't chewing through any more of my ship. My ship? Shoo! Flark off! Wow. That panel must have looked really tasty. What's it for, anyways? Emergency door controls for the ship. Something a ship owner should know. Hey, do I look like an engineer? You don't. Anything yet? Guardian of Galaxies. Cosmo, buddy. Where have you been? We've been calling you. Sorry, Peter Quill. Cosmo's bow's been tied. Universal Church of Truth arrive at nowhere. What? Are you okay? He's fine for a moment. Cosmo receive warning in time. But Continuum Cortex is of shutdown for safety. He's been dead, huh? Your little detective trip almost got us killed. We'll fill you in when we get there. Yet. This problem is bigger than Cosmo. Guardian of Galaxies must go to Xandar and ask World Mind for help instead. Cosmo unable to get through. Guardian of Galaxies must actually. Cosmo, are you there? What happened? I am brute. These are the cowards who defiled Lady Hellbender's honor. Oh, good. And who the flock are you? Normally, I would not engage in conversation with inferior life forms. But my contract with Lady Hellbender stipulates otherwise. Therefore, abomination. You may refer to me by my title. I am Captain Glory, leader of the Lethal Legion. A uh, lethal legion? Uh, more like loser legion. <laughs> he surrounded us. Listen, I get that Lady Hellbender's super pissed, but now's really not the best time. Did you think that she would ease her bounty simply because you somehow managed to elude the Blood Brothers in nowhere? Yes. Then you were as imbecilic as they are. Lady Hellbender sends a regard, so-called Guardians of the Galaxy. Prepare to be eliminated. No, you prepare to be eliminated. <laughs> Smooth. Eh, we got this. a channel with less butthole content. The blockers are forcing it open somehow. We're taking fire! <laughs> These guys have really bad timing. Starting to wish I'd stayed in dog jail. <laughs> Hang in there, bud. They ain't killed us yet. How much money did she offer these guys? Doesn't matter. She wasted her money. Please try to flee. I would love to hunt you down. And feed your ego? No thank you. These ships ain't dying fast enough. That's a fixable problem. Or feel 
feel free to point the guns right at him and charge. Feel free to show off, Quill. They insulted my baby. Yes. Feel free to show off as you die. I am Groot. Stop barking orders, Groot. You don't even know how to fly her. Feels kind of good to have bounty hunters after us. Me for making a name for herself, right? Not sure how much we get out of taking down Crafty Crap Hole and his legion of crap! Where's Drax the Destroyer? My bounty is worth five of you. Ain't a bad question. Can't we just send an IOU to Lady H? I ain't paying that psycho a single unit! <laughs> Name brain left. What is all we need? That don't even make sense. We just wasted a ton of you. I'm Groot. Hang in there, bud. They ain't killed us yet. Woo! <laughs> Who's the inferior life form now, huh? Still you. Peter, I'm picking up something. What? It appears I'll have to finish this myself. So you defeated my fighters, but my cruiser will crush you. Please try to flee. I would love to hunt you down. That's it? That's what you've been bragging about? What do you mean? <laughs> <gasps> Nothing. It's well. I'm sure it's very comfortable. I will not be mocked! Then do something about it. Some real damage. Keep hitting his exhaust ports. Your strategy will work. Thanks. You just confirmed that it will. Feel that, Guardians? Nope, not a thing. The Milano definitely felt it. Morons. Protect our port. This guy's starting to sound like rocket. It's called language efficiency, Quill. Getting paid for killing us. Let me look up the contract real quick. Oh, 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 oh man, these guys are making jump change. Really? I am Clary, warrior. Of <laughs> Take that, Lady Skull Scut. I doubt we've seen the last of her. We'll worry about Lady Hellbender later. Let's just focus on getting to Xandar. Punch it! Yep. Old girl needs a tune-up. We can do it once we reach the station. I ain't letting no bucket head near my... Wow. 
Talk about cosmic gridlock. I haven't seen this many ships around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Open channel, Groot. Let's see what's going on. These ships come from converted worlds. They're refugees. Need immediate docking permission. Please answer us. Groot, that's enough. I don't see any rescue shuttles coming out. They're ignoring them. No. No, 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 no. Nova Corps might be a bunch of self-righteous domeheads, but they're, they're supposed to be helping folk. That's their whole flarkin' deal. Relax, Rocket. We'll just call the station and ask to speak to the world mind. Groot. <sighs> Welcome to Nova Corps headquarters. Please state your preferred language of communication. Hi, Groot. I know, bud, but now we can all follow along with Starpants' mistakes. How may we assist you? You still there, Quill? After scanning your ship, our near-perfect algorithms pre-selected several officer choices. Nova's profiling us? That ain't okay. The allocation of resources for direct communication with us has been denied. We apologize for the inconvenience. Well, it was worth a shot. Let's try something else. Just pick something, Peter. Well, how about that one? I am Groot. Groot wants you to pick World Mind. Scroll down! Scroll down! Centurion Corel personal communicator has either been destroyed or disabled and could not be reached. For what it's worth, I'm sorry, Quill. Me too. Large and good. Scroll back up! I think I saw someone interesting. Cadet Nicolette Gold's communication privileges are suspended while we investigate her involvement in unsanctioned cult activity. You should force your spawn to answer us. I can't do that. She's independent. Large and good. Does that say Nova Prime? Any idea which one? Nova Prime's identity is confidential. And communication with them is forbidden. Until further notice. Huh. Doesn't say which one. Why even list them then? Hey, Woolberry, got any ideas? Ugh, I hate bureaucracy! How Congratulations on your decision to join the Corps! To begin, begin, state your full name, designation, designation or serial name. number. Richard Ryder. Star-Lord. Quill's mom! This strategy is futile. Ah, oh, come on, muscle brain. It might work. Oh, please please state you. your celestial body. Or artificial installation of origin. Someplace! Earth. Earth! I continue to doubt this strategy. Sheesh. Yeah, maybe it won't work, but <laughs> look today. at this scut. It's hilarious. Nope. In a few words, describe, describe what made you want to join Nova Corps. Because I'm a sucker. Justice. Looks like the best AI in the world couldn't parse that. Good job, boys. Hands off! Alright, so that was fun, but a complete waste of time. Any other ideas? This menu again? You still there, Quill? Only one application per cycle is permitted, and you cannot resume a cancelled application. Peter, I think everyone here is too busy or dead to answer. Perhaps we should try another menu. We should report what Raker is up to. Think the Flarkin world mind doesn't already know? Maybe not everything. Thank, Thank you for being proactive. However, the galaxy's impending doom makes all future crimes irrelevant. We are aware of the current threat, 
but can devote no, no resources toward fighting it. We should tell them about the promise. Right, as if none of these other ships ain't already blasting about it all over the comms. I can't believe that worked. Guardians of the galaxy. Explain yourselves. Hey, world mind, long time no see. It's me, Peter Quill, Star Lord. And uh, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Check the addendum. We need your help. To pay a fine? No, no, of course not. You need to save the, the galaxy. galaxy. Cannot be saved, Peter Quill. What? A mass delusion known as the Promise is sweeping, sweeping its systems, converting all who encounter it. In less than three, three cycles, it has spread from the crew of a single star frigate to multiple outposts, worlds, and systems. Praxis 9, Rigel 3. 75.222% of the Andromeda galaxy, galaxy, all lost. Of course, she don't mention Contraxia. They, actually. The world mine is a collective consciousness. Look, we know who's behind the promise. We've seen it happening up close and personal. We're here to pass on information to you so you can stop it. How can we be more clear? The Universal Church of Truth cannot be stopped. Told you, they're a collective. It is a machine. Yeah, well, so are parts of me. And you better not call me in it. I'm Groot. Look, we just escaped the church's mothership. We have a ton of intel you can use to bring them down. There is nothing you can tell us we do not already know. Pretty sure I know a few things that even a supercomputer can't know. Such as? Well, how to groom the feathers on a Shi'ar warbird, for starters. Are you still alive? Because I know how to groom the feathers. Yeah, well, I know where you can buy hack Nova Corps helmets at ridiculously discounted prices. What? They obviously don't know about it, or they do something. Th the point is, we've lived things, experienced things. We've survived the promise, and maybe our experience can be used to help you bring them down. It is possible. We have, we have overlooked, overlooked the value of individual experiential memories stored within our files. Good. So let's pull resources. However, given the ill-defined parameters of such a query, undertaking, undertaking a search protocol at this time is advised. Now, if you will excuse us. The Universal Church of Truth's forces draw closer to this region of space. It is critical that we depart before they arrive. You're running away? What about the refugees? You're just gonna leave them defenseless? Our primary directive is the preservation of Xandarian culture. All else is secondary. <laughs> Have you seen what your planet looks like? Xandarian culture is a lost cause. Culture is more than a location. And yet after the Shatari attack, you still build the new Xandar in the same system knowing it wasn't safe. But you're Nova Corps' leader. You have a duty to protect this galaxy. That is incorrect. You ain't the leader of the Bucketheads? We do, we do not, not have a duty to protect this galaxy. galaxy. We, we merely police it to get advanced knowledge of potential threats. Serve and protect only ourselves. A logical byproduct of our primary directive. You have officers all over the galaxy laying down their lives for you. And you won't even risk fighting for their sake? The risk is too great. It, it would be, be a pointless, pointless sacrifice. For unknown reasons. The church is stockpiling resources. Its influence has grown beyond all probabilistic models. Then update your models. We cannot, we cannot adjust our computations to the enemy's nonsensical power source. You mean faith energy? Faith, as an energy source, is illogical. illogical. We are unable to compute scenarios to fight that which should not exist. So you're just gonna let the church win? If, if the power source, source cannot be quantified, it, it cannot, cannot be, be countered. countered. Most sentient beings don't have the luxury of calculating their odds before getting into a fight. That is why they fail. Ha! Drax, he's as dumb as a stick and he ain't failed so far. Don't you control the Nova Force? The magical energy that powers Nova Corps? It. it. Is not magical. 
But yes. And how do you explain that one? Because to an outsider, it doesn't seem logical at all. Thanos used to say it was generated by the living computers of Xandar. The, the living, living computers, computers of Xandar are, are the Nova Force. It exists because we exist, and we exist, therefore it does. Sounds like you're able to harness your collective energy just like Raker with other people's faith. Maybe the way you do it can tell you how the Church does. Perhaps. You, you have given us new data to consider. Guardians of the Galaxy, we will. Later. Right now, we need to focus on our departure. You're still leaving? We did we not, not make this decision without considering all available options. A complete search of our databanks only revealed a single entity with the potential to stop them. What is it? Not what. Who? I am Warlock, the Church's original Golden God. Unfortunately, he perished in the last year of the Galactic War. Great. So, no one? We are, we are pleased you reached the same conclusion we did. It appears that our travel preparations are almost complete. Farewell, Guardians of the Galaxy. No, 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 wait! Classic Nova Corps. Ain't helped us then, you won't help us now. What? Are you kidding me? Groot says the Flarkin helpline's still asking for fine money. <sighs> ah, screw it. If Novacor doesn't want to help, then we're not paying their darn fine. Cancel payment. I knew it! I knew you spent Lady Hellbender's money in nowhere. You saw me? You were there? I was watching your back. Great. All the way to Seknarf and back, and nothing to show for it. I'm sorry, all right? Peter, we've got movement. I'm Groot. They're taking off. Gotta jump, Quill. I know. Petro's promise is becoming real. Peter? Gotta get clear first. Come on. And go! What did you do? I don't know. Why have we stopped? The Loser Legion must have hit something when they ambushed us. I'm Groot. Guys, it's only a matter of time before the galaxy accepts the promise. Sacrosanct is back there. We can't just sit here. Nice. And how are we going to do that? We're dead in the flocking water. And if they find us, we're screwed. Freely accepted. Oh, oh, yeah. And without an engine, we're screwed. Guys, anyway. guys, guys, guys. Enough. Just stop already. I can't hear myself think. Rocket, fix the engines. How am I supposed to do that? I can't even run a diagnosis. I don't care! Just fix it! Scoff. And what are we supposed to do? I don't know, okay? I can't just conjure up answers every two seconds. Fine. Don't. I just... can't do this right now. <sighs> I need some rest.
Screw Nova Corps. Shouldn't have counted on them in the first place. Look, it's our great leader. Hey. Here to yell at me some more? What? No. I really don't feel like small talk. You forgot your toast. Hey, Groot, you remember if I left the sensor nodes on standby earlier? I am Groot. Because I told you about it. I said, Groot, remind me to something something the sensor nodes. I am Groot. Yeah, I remembered most of it, but I'm missing the middle part. Come on, girl. Shoo, shoo. <laughs> And the bed smells. Great. We have a ship. This is our room? Why is it so small? Look at you. Me. Who? Weird hair. What? What is it? What is this? How are you... me? Come on. The talking raccoon's waiting for you. Everybody is. Uh, Rocket, yeah. He was... fixing that thing that broke. Hey, if we're some kind of big space hero now, why are we running from the bad guys? <sighs> It's complicated. No, it's not. Stop running. And we've landed. Uh... <sighs> Groot wanted to let you sleep. Can you believe it? Oh, how long was I out? Long enough to fly us all the way to the quarantine zone. Wait. How do we fly out here? Quill, do you want to fix your ship or not? My ship! Yes, your ship. Come on, the others are outside. Whenever you're ready, Quill. Give me a minute. You've had plenty of minutes. Sleeping doesn't count. There, let's go. Who stumbled out of bed? The rodent made decisions in your sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. Took you long enough? What? Nikki? You're not supposed to be here. You promised you would get me out of here. I know, but... <sighs> Nikki! Tell me twice!
cannot outrun the beast, Peter Quill! Keep going, Drax! Honor my death! Drax! Anybody? We can't keep running away from our problems. It's my fault, isn't it? All of it! We were supposed to be able to... No! This is all wrong! Leave me alone! Why are you chasing me? Guys! I'm sorry! I don't know what to do! Yes, you do! You do! We have to face our fears. Take responsibility. What are you doing? You know what I'm doing. None of this makes any sense! We can't keep running away from our problems. Leave me alone! Why are you to take that, you ugly monster thing? Peter Quill! Peter Quill! Quill, wake up. Huh. Uh, Drax, we talked about this, man. You gotta stop. Your illegitimate child was correct, Peter Quill. Hovat and Camaria will be restored. Uh, d d yeah, okay. Um, we just need to have faith. <laughs> uh, Drax. Kind of freaking me out, man. I had to share the good news, Peter Quill. You have lost your family. Your mother, the Cree woman. You understand the pain that comes from loss. Drax. But with faith, with the Matriarch's promise, how our families can be restored. I, I Drax, I don't. You have accepted her promise, have you not, Peter Quill? Uh... Not... exactly. But, but, but not because I don't want to. It's just... I have questions. I understand. The Matriarch's promise is overwhelming. Overwhelming his word for it. It also took me time to see the miracle of her promise. Yes, yes, uh, time. I just need time. I will give you time, Peter Quill. However, I am less certain of the others. The wooden one may come around, but I suspect the assassin and the rodent will resist. Mm hmm. This makes them a dangerous element to our cause. I must eliminate them. Wait! Why? Because <laughs> they're our family, man. Just give them a chance. It's a lot to process. You truly believe they will accept her promise? I, I, I know it. Uh, take Gamora. Her dad was Thanos. There's gonna be some stuff to work through before she can accept it. And, and Rocket. <laughs> Where to start? He's literally a walking science experiment. What Nikki, uh, the, the, the matriarch, is, is offering, it's, it's all new territory for him. And the wooden one? You said it yourself. You'll come around. I, I mean, it's Groot, man. He's our rock. Very well, Peter Quill. Good, uh, good. That's 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 great. Um, I'll, I'll let the others know. No, I will fetch her and bring her to you. How? She's like a million light years away. We have already landed on our planet. Think well, Peter Quill. When I return, she will demand your answer. Wait, Drax. We can talk about this. Great. Locked. 